Hi everybody, welcome back. So, excuse the mess in the background, I just wanted you to get a chance to see the babies. Okay, so there's my girls. Um, I have been trying to edit a stitch and chat for you all, but life is crazy. So, for Mother's Day, I received a wonderful kit that I had debated this image in diamond painting and then in paint by numbers. And then I spotted it in cross stitch and I just, oh, perfect. It's exactly what I wanted it in. Um, because I think the image is going to lend itself better this way. So I'm going to show you what it is. But before I do that, I want you to see this is not a printed stitch kit. Now, this is back to my origins of, you know, doing counted cross stitch. So we have a nice size piece of white Aida. We've got some gorgeous threads. This came with the two needles, a needle threader, and it came with this pen, which is supposed to be for marking the fabric. Now, I don't know if this would truly be water soluble. So, I have my own that I've used for many, many, many years. Several marking implements that I can grid this off with because this is a full coverage piece. It will need gridding unless I wish to pull every hair out of my head individually and painfully. <laughs> okay, so here we are. Oh, isn't she pretty? Oh, my goodness. Now, I've played piano most of my life and because I sang and did all of those wonderful things, I spent many, many, many an evening in gowns and the like so cocktail dresses all of that good stuff plus you know boots and jeans all that fun stuff but I fell in love with this image the moment I saw it I just didn't see it lending itself well in diamond painting and then in paint by numbers it would have required so much work to blend it and get everything just as pretty as I could have wanted so with stitching, it's different because if I choose to, I don't know if this calls for it, but if I choose to, I can do blended threads. Now, I have you in my hands, not on a tripod or anything like that. So, the, for the movement, I'm very, very, very sorry. This has, for the size of it, a wonderful number of colors. Um, now, I've done a lot of hades. So, pieces with a ton more color than that. But, for this, I think the colors are sufficient because it's a lot of neutral, neutral colors. So, we have 40 colors. Okay. I have never gotten a counted cross stitch from China. So, we're going to see how this goes. Um, and I'm assuming it's from China because... Muhu and the the way it's printed and this is a, a color pattern which to me is more complicated um, this is quite a reasonably sized piece it is on 14 count it is 165 wide by 213 high which is the stitch count um, so in centimeters for those of my diamond painters you can see that that equals just about 30 by 39 almost 39 so it's a good size piece now that is the stitched area just so you know when you're dealing with stitching that is the stitched area the reason I can't show you anything else in this is because well it's all pattern and that would be proprietary and not fair to do but I love that this comes in a plastic little sleeve um, to protect it. The Aida is not sewn on the edge, so either whip stitching it because it's not surged, or getting a product such as, oh, what is the name of it? Um, anyway, I'll think of it at some point. I've recommended it in other videos. It seals the edge of this and prevents it from fray check. 
that's what it is. It prevents it from fraying. <laughs> it's wonderful. But as you can see, these colors are so pretty and neutral. Oh, yes. No, I'm not taking them all out and showing them individually this time because this was just a quick, hey, I'm still here. I'm not doing only printed cross stitch. I'm still venturing into my wonderful counted cross stitch. There is a ton of thread here, although nowhere near the amount that goes into the pink roses, which, you know, you've seen uh, opened, but I've been working on it a little bit, and I did film a whip and chat. Like I said, I just need to edit it. Okay, so it comes with one of these traditional wire loop needle threaders. I break these left and right. I do have a much better for me needle threader. And I would have to say that is a size 26 needle from looking at it. Yeah, that's a 26. So, when you've done this for 40 years, you kind of know <laughs> what you're dealing with. Um, and it comes in this wonderful, uh, very protective sleeve. So, I'm quite pleased with this kit the way it is presented I am not one for color patterns just because they're hard to highlight and mark off however that's okay so but I do like the plastic sleeve I love the plastic sleeve for the pattern that is wonderful okay so that is all I wanted to show you all is the babies and this please ignore the mess in my bedroom and I will talk to you all again next time. My thoughts and prayers are with all of you. Stay safe, everybody. Bye-bye.